Or is this, is this full-time MMA now? Uh, I love full-time MMA right now. Back to the daily grind and shout out to the full-time patrons. Make sure to hit subscribe if you're new and hit thumbs up if you're not a baby back bagel biting bitch boy because you know what time it is. It's full time. MMA. And it looks like the Motown phenom Kevin Lee has his mind in the right place as far as calling out Al Quinta for UFC 229. Kevin Lee believes that either Conor McGregor or Khabib will end up pulling out of their fight. And if he's scheduled to fight on the same card, that would allow him to step in on short notice. So that's smart thinking, actually. I mean, Khabib Nurmagomedov and Conor McGregor, it, it, it's a real chance that, you know, one of those guys could pull out of the fight. Khabib Nurmagomedov has pulled out of fights in the past. Conor McGregor hasn't fought in the UFC. And, and going on um, a year and a half, I believe, you know, he had the Floyd Mayweather fight in between. But it's been a while since Conor McGregor, McGregor actually fought in the UFC so who knows what could happen god forbid there could be an injury or some sort and so if there's another lightweight on the card ready to step up they could get that chance like Ally Quinta actually got at UFC 223 when Tony Ferguson was injured he got to step up and fight for the undisputed title so Kevin Lee's looking to get that chance in against who other than Ally Quinta I mean both lightweights, these guys, have, you know, they, they don't really like each other. They've talked trash in the past. I like Quinta and Kevin Lee back and forth. They actually fought once in the past, so this would be a rematch. And so, with that being said, Kevin Lee's calling out Ally Quinta the, for, for a big card. So, that would be a huge opportunity if the UFC did book Kevin Lee on the same cards, Conor McGregor and Khabib. And that would be a big opportunity for Ally Quinta as well. But the thing about Ally Quinta is... He doesn't really need a big opportunity. He's not a guy that really cares about, you know, it doesn't seem like getting the biggest fights or really remaining active or even in that sense becoming the champion. Of course, he'll take a title fight on short notice if given the opportunity, but he's only going to take a fight on his terms if he feels like it's a good fight for him or whatnot. And, and if Ally Quinta doesn't like the fight, He'll tell the UFC to F off and he'll go back to selling houses and doing real estate and now doing his podcast, Thug Thistle, that way. So, Ally Quinta isn't the guy that's desperate for a fight by any means, so he's not necessarily going to accept any call out. But that being said, he responded to Kevin Lee and said, Kevin Lee is a dweeb. He doesn't make weight, doesn't deserve a title shot, scared to bump up to his natural weight class of 170. I'll fight him no earlier than Madison Square Garden. He's a bird. I do what I want. He's a UFC kiss-ass sissy bag. So Ally Quinta seems like he's accepting the fight, but not on Kevin Lee's terms. Like, I'll fight him at Madison Square Garden, but not UFC 229, which is where Kevin Lee's calling him out for. Now, I'm not going to lie. I like Ally Quinta, and, you know, it's cool to see a fighter kind of have the ability to fight on their own terms. Usually, you kind of see guys taking fights because they have to, you know, whether it's to feed their family or whatever, because they people aren't giving them big opportunities. But I believe any other fighter in the lightweight division would want to fight on the Conor McGregor versus Khabib card. Because if, like Kevin Lee said, if one of those guys can't make it to the fight, could you imagine if Khabib doesn't make it to the fight? Someone gets to step up and fight Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor's definitely not going to turn down the damn challenge. We know he's not. He's took short notice fights in the past. If he's coming to get his belt back, Conor McGregor's coming to get his belt back. So if Khabib can't make it to the fight, if you're a lightweight, you for sure should want to be at UFC 229 on that card, just in case. So Kevin Lee's got his mind in the right place, but Ally Quint is like, you know, if you want to fight at UFC 229, you won't be fighting me. And, and so that's unfortunate. And it, it, there's one thing about also that I wanted to address where he said Kevin Lee doesn't make weight, doesn't deserve a title shot. Kevin Lee's only missed weight one time in his career, and actually missing weight has been getting guys title shots as of late. We see Darren Till's going to be fighting coming up at UFC 228, and he just missed weight in his last fight. So as of late, missing weight doesn't take away your title shot. And with that being said, if you've only missed weight one time in your career, I think we can still count on you to come back and make weight the next time. Um, but hey, it is what it is. Ally Quinta's got his reasons. He's not really interested in fighting on Conor McGregor versus Khabib card against Kevin Lee in a rematch. 
but he said he is willing at Madison Square Garden or later. So we'll see what happens. If I'm Kevin Lee, I'm not waiting on Ally Quinta. If the UFC offers me a fight at UFC 229 on the same card as McGregor and Khabib, I'm taking the opportunity just in case one of those guys pull out. Kevin Lee could get that, you know, big fight. Uh, and so with that being said, who knows? Maybe Tony Ferguson, that would be a great fight for him. I mean, it would be another rematch, but... You know, kind of. I believe Dana White said that he wants to book Tony Ferguson on the same card as McGregor and Khabib, just in case one of the guys can't make it. Ferguson could step up. So maybe, hopefully, Tony Ferguson will be healthy in time for October sixth. I know it's only two months away, not a lot of time. So maybe Tony Ferguson won't be. We haven't heard about him being cleared to fight, and he still need time possibly for a training camp. But for any other lightweights, top five ranked lightweights in the UFC or help for that matter, any fighter in the UFC. This would be a good card for you to be on because it's going to be headlined by Conor McGregor and Khabib. If you're a lightweight, you might get to step up into the biggest fight of your life. And if you're anybody else, you're going to get to be on the biggest card in UFC history. So it's a little surprising Ally Quinta doesn't want to fight on that card and get that exposure fighting on the same card as McGregor and Khabib. But at the same time, like I said, He's not a guy that really needs the money or, or seems like he really cares about the exposure, even though this would be big for his career as a fighter. But, and, hey, hell, this would be big for your career in real estate. You get to fight on the same card as Conor McGregor and Khabib, you'll probably sell that much more houses. So, a little surprising, but it is what it is. It seems like Ally Quinta is down to fight at Madison Square Garden, which would also be a good place for him to fight as a New York native so we'll see what happens with that being said it is what it is let the full-time family know what you think in the comments and before we go shout out to all the full-time MMA white belts that have hit the subscribe button make sure you also hit the bell right next to it so you get notified every time I upload a new video or some of the time that I upload a new video because YouTube's notification bell is a player hater but this is one of the hardest working independent MMA channels on YouTube. We provide daily updates, full fight card breakdowns and predictions. We make MMA fighter freestyles and we've already interviewed pro fighters Aljamain Sterling, Sean O'Malley, Felony Charles Bennett and Bruce Lush Medio in just a little over a year as an MMA channel. We're one of the fastest growing MMA channels on YouTube. So with that being said, if you're interested in more videos like this, check out the full-time MMA dojo over at Patreon.com. One of the things you can see while you're over there are some of the goals of the channel and also more free videos like this, betting advice, and more. We just launched the full-time MMA store over on teespring.com and we've got some limited edition gear in order to celebrate that. We've got some day one poop the other side shirts that are only available for a limited time. Also, you got leggings, phone cases, don't be a bagel biter, coffee mugs, and more. With that being said, you can check the links out in the description if you want to check out the full-time MMA dojo or the full-time MMA store on Teespring. I apologize about the long outro, but a closed mouth don't get fed, and if I don't plug myself, who will? So, respect. Let the full-time family know what you think in the comments. I'm out. Da-da-da-da-da. It's the motherfucking D-O-double-G.